What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve 2.34 letter A of Griffith's 4th edition. The problem reads, find the energy stored in a uniform charge solid sphere of radius R and charge Q and do it in three different ways. So in this case, we're going to do letter A and in the next video, we're going to do letter B and letter C. Okay, so... For letter A, we're going to use equation 2.43 and then uh, we're going to use the potential that you found in your problem set from problem 2.21, okay? So what is equation 2.43? So equation 2.43 is given by work is equal to one half times the integral of rho v d tau. So here we're going to compute for the uh, work done or the energy stored uh, in this uniformly charged solid sphere of radius r and charge q. Okay, and then we're going to use problem 2.21. So from problem 2.21, you should have found out that the potential is given by rho over 2 epsilon naught times r squared minus small r squared divided by 3. Or, in terms of charge Q, this is equal to what? This is equal to, uh, if we're going to distribute this, so we have uh, rho over 6 epsilon naught times 3 r squared minus r squared. Okay, since rho, which is your uniform charge density, is equal to the total charge Q divided by the volume 4 thirds pi R Q okay, or 3 Q over 4 pi R Q substituting this here we now have uh, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times q over 2r times 3 minus r squared over r squared okay Okay, so from here, we can uh, calculate the potential, okay? So the work, uh, so, sorry, the energy stored double omega uh, W for work done. So this is now equal to, um, you can either use this or use this. Uh, so let's try to use this first and then by your own uh, accord or by your own uh, decision, you can also use this potential in terms of Q. If you're going to use this potential, I will just use this relationship between the density and charge Q in our final result. Okay, so let's do this. So this is one half times the integral of rho. times b which is this one so this becomes uh, rho squared over 6 epsilon naught times 3 capital r squared minus r squared so this is rho b and then d tau in spherical coordinate system is given by r squared 
sin theta, dr, d theta, dv. And then, this becomes a triple integral. So, this becomes 1 half rho squared over 6 epsilon naught times the integral of the following. So, this is in terms of uh, for r. So, this becomes 3 r squared r squared minus r to the fourth dr evaluated from 0 to r and then we have integral of sine theta d theta evaluated from 0 to pi and then integral of d phi evaluated from 0 to 2 pi so we already know that this is equal to 2 pi a uh, 4 pi okay so this becomes 1 half rho squared over 6 epsilon naught times 4 pi times the integral of this which is equal to r squared r cubed minus r to the fifth over 5 evaluated from 0 to r okay and we're going to end up with this equation this is now equal to uh, 1 half rho squared over 6 epsilon naught 4 pi times 4 fifths r to the fifth and then we can cancel a lot of things here we can cancel uh, well we can substitute first rho in terms of q right yeah so this is now equal to 1 half times 4 pi over 6 epsilon naught times 9 q squared because this is a rho squared divided by 16 uh, 4 pi squared times r to the sixth and times 4, thir 4 fifths r to the fifth. okay which gives us so this becomes uh, okay and then uh, this 4 pi will cancel with one of the 4 pi's here this r to the fifth will cancel with r to the fifth here then we can cancel 4 and 2 this becomes 2 and then we can cancel 6 and 9 this becomes 3 and 2 So the end result is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times 3 oh sorry I'm sorry this 2 will also cancel with this so yeah so this becomes 3 uh, q squared divided by 5 r so this is now the energy stored in your uniform sphere of radius R and total charge Q. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to use equation 2.45 uh, and then we're going to integrate for all spaces and we're going to demonstrate to you how it is done. Okay, so in the meantime, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.